So our first goal with solar at RMI is to just be deploying a lot of it across the US. And think about it this way, right now when you're driving down the street, you'll maybe, depending on where you are in the country, you will maybe see a solar system on top of a building, one out of every 20 houses, one out of every 50 houses in some places. What we're looking at is being able to drive around by 2050 and see solar on two out of every four houses, or maybe three out of every four houses in some places. We've got to make that future happen. Now here's the problem. That level of solar deployment just can't happen right now because solar energy is too expensive for economic widespread deployment across the US. So that's our second goal at RMI. In order to enable that kind of deployment, we've got to help lower the cost of solar to a point where it makes sense everywhere. With donor support over the past several years, RMI has really been at the forefront of leading the conversation with industry about how to reduce solar costs. So here's what's going on. Solar right now has been a great story. You've had module costs, the actual panels have gotten really cheap over the past decade. The problem is all these other costs really make up most of the portion of the cost of a solar system. And all those other costs range from how much it actually costs to pay laborers to install the things to the racking system that holds the panel on the roof. Those costs account for somewhere upwards of 70% of the cost of the solar system. So again, with RMI donor support for the past several years, we've been deeply engaging with industry to look specifically at those soft costs and map out pathways to bring them down to enable cost-effective deployment of solar across the country. The way rates are designed right now to reimburse solar customers for the production that's coming from their systems, it's just not sustainable when you look at a system that's getting 33% of its energy from the sun. We, net metering, everything like that, it's just not working for that level of penetration. We need a new paradigm, and that's what RMI is doing by our direct engagement with utilities, is creating that new paradigm. What does a sustainable, long-term rate structure look like for solar energy to enable those huge levels of deployment that we really need? Right now in the US, about three-fourths of all solar systems are actually financed. They're not purchased anymore. And that's for residential systems. On the commercial side, about half of all systems are financed. And that's great because basically solar developers can put a system on your roof and you can start saving money from the first day that system's turned on. There's a problem though. Most of the finance behind those business models is extremely expensive. It's drawing upon different kinds of investments that just drive up the cost of electricity. So what RMI is looking at with donor support is to say, how can we drive down those costs of financing? How can we access different forms of investment like you and me? How can we get retail investors involved in the investment space that require much lower returns than say large corporations that might be using specialized investment vehicles. So what we've done over the past year is conducted interviews and lots of secondary research and face-to-face -face interactions with people in the investment community and the solar community to look at what are those lower cost of capital financing tools that can still enable widespread deployment of solar but even more places because as you reduce the cost of financing you greatly reduce the cost of electricity from solar systems. We are very uniquely situated between policymakers, investors, solar companies, uh, utilities to really draw upon a completely comprehensive view of all these really complicated issues, net metering, soft cost challenges, uh, utility integration of high penetration renewables. RMI is all about the business case for all of those different stakeholders and nobody else is really situated like that, which in the US, if you look at the politics in our country and where everything is really happening, I just don't see another organization or another approach really having as much success as the focus on the business case that we do. It's really that RMI's approach to dealing with climate change through deep collaboration with corporations and governments and investors and everyone else to really prove the business case behind renewable energy and energy efficiency is the path for success. And that's why they give to RMI.